Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Nigel Short and Ulf Anderson. This game was played in Vazna, Romania, in 2008. Nigel shot in white pieces and he started with e4. Ulf Anderson played e6, d4, d5, French defense. Knight to c3, knight to f6, e5, attacking the knight f to d7, f4, c5, naturally, knight to f3, knight to c6, more pressure on the pawn on d4, knight to e2, in order to play c3, bishop to e3 is the most played move, Nigel played knight to e2, f6, if c takes on d4, knight from e takes on d4, and after bishop to c5, c3. So Anderson played f6, c3, f takes on e5. Why to move? How to recapture? Hmm? f takes on e5 is the most plain move. Nigel recaptured with d pawn. Knight to b6, knight to g3, bishop to d7, bishop to d3, and now queen to e7, intending to castle queenside. Why to move? What would you do? I guess castling kingside comes to mind. Do you agree? Maybe bishop to e3. Nigel Short played very sharp move. F5. Threatening Bishop to G5. Hmm? H6. If E takes on F5, then Knight takes on F5, attacking the Queen. So we have h6. Suddenly, after f5, black queen is no longer comfortable on e7 square. Nigel short, castle short. Ulf Anderson, castle long. Bishop to f4. Queen to f7. Knight to h4. e takes on f5 knight from g takes on f5 black to move what would you do? should black play g5 or not? would you play g5 forking two pieces? Ulf Anderson played c4 attacking the bishop on d3 When Nigel played the knight to h4, he was provoking g5. Let's see what happens if g5 is played. Then, bishop to g3, and if pawn takes knight, then knight to d6 check, forking the king and the queen. After bishop takes knight, rook takes queen. A little trap. So we have c4 attacking the bishop. And now not moving the bishop. Bishop to g3, another threat. Knight to d6, winning the queen. Queen to e6, bishop to c2, and now g5. White to move, what would you do? Did you find knight to f3? This is nothing special. Nigel Short played the best move. Knight to g6. Can you see why he played that? If queen takes knight, let's say queen takes knight, huh? then knight to d6, check, winning the queen. 
So Ulf Andersson played bishop to c5. Bishop to f2. Knight takes on e5. Knight takes rook. Bishop takes bishop. Rook takes bishop. Rook takes knight. Queen to d4, pinning the knight. If knight moves, queen takes rook. Rook to g8. Knight takes pawn on h6. Things are going downhill for black. Rook to e8. Knight to f5. Knight to c6, attacking the queen. White to move. White. Play the move and black resigned. The move is... Knight got short played queen to d2. Black resign. The threat is knight to g7, forking the queen and the rook. What is the best square for the queen? Queen is not safe on f5. If queen goes to e5, then queen takes on g5. And let's say pass, and then the simple move is queen to f4, exchanging queens, and black is facing very slow death. That is why very strong grandmaster of Anderson resigned at move 26. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.